And I just want you to focus on your breathing. So just take a real nice big breath in for me. Super. And we're going to drop this off just here. Lovely. Okie dokie. As quick as that, not too mm -hmm. bad, is it? It's fairly tolerable. It's a teeny tiny little uh, entrance site there. And all yeah. we're going to do is we're just going to put a little bit of pressure on that for a few seconds. Wait for it to swell up and clot and all that jazz. And then we're just going to pop a tiny, just a little spot plaster on just like this. Uh, you're going to look to change that every 24 hours for the next three days. Mm -hmm. uh, just a nice salt water wash in between that or um, some hand sanitizer, something like that. As long as you're sterilizing the area. Pat that dry, make sure it's really, really dry. Otherwise, you'll have a hard job getting the plaster to stick again afterwards. Uh, and you can continue that for a little bit longer if you need to. But I normally just say that your three days is like your minimum. That's the minimum you want to be changing your plasters for. If you're in a job where you're particularly hands-on, a little bit handsy, maybe in a slightly dusty or dirty environment, then yes, I'd go for maybe the full week with your plasters just to keep that covered. But use your best judgment with that. See how you feel. Mm -hmm. How was that as an experience? That was absolutely fine. Not that bad, right? No, yeah, bad. yeah, it was uh, less than giving blood. Yes, oh yes, way yes. Way less, mm. yeah. I see you've had uh, like a few tattoos and things as well, yeah, so yeah. comparatively it's, uh, it's hardly yeah. anything. Hours of sitting in tattooist chairs, so. Yeah, no, I hear that. I've, uh, these are relatively fresh, I think it was about 10 days ago now. These are, uh, that was all done in one, so that was about, it was a nine hour day with about seven hours of tattooing, so oh. yeah, no, I feel mm. that, yeah. <laughs> 